I'll listen and exploit them in any way I can. Hey, I'm Guy Branham and this is Bar Talk at JFL. Hey, this is JFL Bar Talk. I'm Guy Branham. This is Sam Talent, one of the new faces of comedy here at JFL. Sam, it was uh, an intense night of mingling at the bar last night. Oh, yeah. I saw you mingling very hard. Yeah, it was. How are you feeling right now? Oh, terrible. Yeah, yes. I poisoned my body. Uh, I jeopardized a lot of my morals. Yes. Um, you know, my integrity is gone completely. Yeah, I worked the room though. I was effective. Who needs integrity in the entertainment industry? I need a development deal. It's That's just what I need. holding you back. Yeah. Okay, so I've got to ask you. You're a new face, and you're. Uh, how does it feel to be told by the industry you're one of the new faces of comedy? Relieved. Yeah, I've been doing stand-up 11 years, and I've been waiting to come up here for 11 years. You know. So, thank God I'm here. I don't have to worry anymore. It's okay. good. But you are, what a, you're in New Faces Unwrapped. Yeah. That means you are, like, mo the people in New Faces Wrapped, they already have agents, they already have managers. Mm -hmm. For you, this is essentially an episode of Shark Tank. Yeah. You're having to pitch your product, you're having to find a manager who would like 10%. Yeah. Um, what, what are you doing to pitch yourself to the industry? I'm actually offering 35%. So, come and buy a piece of me. It's free money. I did 45 weekends last year. So come and get me. Invest now. There are just a bunch of questions in here, and I will pull them out, and you have to answer with your gut reaction. Okay. You have to work viscerally from, from the, like, the most honest parts of your brain. Okay. Are you willing to do that, Sam Tyler? Yeah, I'm feral right now. All right, let's play question bucket, though its bucket status has been questioned. All right. <laughs> but I guess it's appropriate for a question That's bucket. That's why you're running the interview. <laughs> If you invented a new national holiday, what would it be? Uh, it would be a holiday for single mothers to have a day off and go out and get blasted in the daytime. Okay, so is there just like national health care or child care provided so that they can like not worry where the kids are when they're drinking their too much white wine? Guys like us will watch the kids while they're out, you know, mingling, shaking it, doing Xanax. No one's gonna wine. no one's gonna agree to us watching their children. Yeah, they would. I'm so good with kids. I mean I'm great with children too, but I think both of us I mean I'm I, paternal. I, I'm a vuncular. I'm selling You're like an uncle. I'm a hard I'm selling gay uncle very hard. Just took my niece to France, that's pretty great. But I think I'm giving creepy vibes. I think you're giving creepy vibes. How dare you? I, <laughs> we do look like henchmen. I calls them like I sees them. Yes. If you had the power to shrink anything and take it with you, what would it be and what would you do with it? I'd shrink my wife and put her in my pocket so I could go everywhere with her. But then she'd be tiny. I could I hypothetically re enlarge her. No, there's nothing in this question about I'm re enlarging just her. Shrinking? Haven't you seen that Matt Damon movie about the economy and Honey, also I shrinking people? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, next question. Um, I'm thinking of starting a cult. What cult should we start together? I just want to be clear, this question was not written by me, but I am thinking of starting a cult. Yeah. I always think in LA, if you can't make it in entertainment, cults. Oh, it's an easy move. But yeah. um, like, uh, what, what cult would you want to start together? Sex cult, where we never have to be on top. <laughs> my arms shake too much. I still want the benefits of running a sex cult, yes. but I don't want to have to do all the work. Um, you know, the guy who played the hot guy in 10 Things I Hate About You, he, runs a, he runs a sex cult in Venice, California now. Damn. Do you, think, do you think Los Angeles or Denver is a cultier city? Oh, for sure LA. Yes. There are a bunch of wounded people out there. I know, yeah. and wounded people have um, family money uh -huh. and the lack of the capacity to protect that family money. Right. And I think that's what cults are really about. And I'll listen and exploit them in any way I can. What would be the worst buy one, get one free item ever? Oh, child caskets? <laughs> <laughs> All right. For sure, you lost twins. <laughs> would you rather... <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> would, you, would you rather... I, I, I mean... You lose a child, that's tragic. Yeah. You lose twins, that's on you. I know. You know? And like, then also you, you go to prison, because <laughs> the thing you love the most in the world died. That's Bar Talk at JFL. It's over now. Howie Mandel here saying thanks for watching, and please click on subscribe, share, enjoy. Do it now. I'm waiting. <laughs>